All right, today I'm going to show you how you can take a unique learning systems pretest or post-test and put it into a Google Slides document so that you and your student can both be in the document at the same time so that you can give the test. All right, so first thing you wanna do is have your document open and then you want to log in to Unique Learning Systems and go to a sample student. If you don't already have a sample student, then it's easy to create one. It's just like when you're adding a student, uh, you'll be able to just add a sample student. All right, so go to sample student. Then you're gonna go to the checkpoints. Click monthly checkpoints. And then just find the uh, test that you wanna give. Now you're only actually gonna have to make one of these per test per month. So let's say, um, okay, let's do, let's say you have a student that's uh, at a level one and we're gonna go ahead and try the content, uh, combined content reading and mathematics. All right, we're choosing pre-test and it's online. And then we're gonna run the test and your verification code is your student's name. If it's not spelled correctly, uh, yeah, and see here, my level, my, my sample student is a level two student. So it's asking me, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. So we're going to go right here to start. And what I'm going to do is pull up my snipping tool and take a snip of this test this first test question, and then I'm going to copy it. Now I did accidentally get the no response in here. I don't need that, um, but actually you might, you might actually want that. Uh, it's up to you. All right, so I'm gonna go down here to this blank slide and I'm going to paste it it's right there. Now I don't want this slide to move when the student is in here, so I'm going to take this slide, go to file, download, and download it as a PNG. Very important, PNG. Now, while I'm at this slide, I'm gonna go to background, choose image, and then I'm going to drag it and drop it. And then I'm gonna click and delete the picture that was on top, revealing the same picture at the bottom. Okay, good. There's my first test question. Now, get my slide ready. I'm going to go back to that test. Now you'll see down here are the directions. Page follows the law. Who is Page? Now I do recommend, and you are gonna need it, there is a document that and you, uh, you can go ahead and click on this so that it goes to the next picture. This is your sample student, so it doesn't matter what the score is, uh, which is why you use a sample student, not just any student. Um, but I will say there is a PDF of this test for when you're doing an offline test. You can print it out so that you'll have the questions or you can just save it to another document so that you uh, have the questions and you won't have to have the actual test up uh, to read the directions. All right, um, so that way you'll, uh, you'll know the answer and you're gonna need to know that to be able to mark it in the document. Okay, so pull up your snipping tool. Control N, quick and easy way to get it to take another snap or another snip. Control C to copy it. And those of you who've watched my videos before know I don't like to use the mouse. I just like to push the buttons. All right, so there's our next page. We are going to download it to a PNG and then once it is downloaded, we are going to change the background to this image, oops, and voila, delete that, bam, there it is. All right, now you might be asking, how are you gonna mark this? Okay, well, let me show you. Actually, this one I'm going to delete because that was from a different one. Okay, I have these pretty little markers here that I made earlier. And what you can do is use a marker to, first you can use it to show the student 
uh, what you're reading. Police officer, page, candle. They give you your option. Uh, they say, you know, they verbalize the option or if they want to move it themselves, they will be able to uh, use their mouse to mark to the picture that they choose. Uh, and then there you go, you have their response. If they're going to tell you, then you can move it for them. So you are probably asking, well, how are you gonna be doing this? How are they gonna be moving it? How are you gonna be watching them move it and make sure that they don't move it multiple times? Okay, well, here is the really cool part. So you have this test and you are gonna need to assign it to a Google Classroom, but you're only gonna assign it to that student. And once you have the test made, you're gonna make copies of it for each student. And the way you're gonna do that is you're going to make the copies in your classroom. So here I have already posted it. And when I posted it, oh, this is the actual, when I posted it, I posted it as students can edit file. So when I click this, I will be in this test. When the student gets it and they click it, they will also be in this test and I will see them in this test. So let's check this out. So here I am, and you can see up here at the top, hey, there's the student. See, look over here, there's my icon, and then there's the student's icon. And you can see over here, there's, there's the one person, there's, then there's the other person. Uh, yeah, so you'll be able to see where your student's at to make sure you're on the same page. So if I go over here to this page and then I come back over here, ooh, we're both on the same page. So that's how you can both be in the document at the same time. And this is also how I do the, how I do my class, my whole class activities. I'll make a um, I'll make like a notebook where I have all my students, uh, they each have their own slide and I'll have an activity that we're all working on together. I just might make multiple slides of the same activity so that we can do a whole group activity at the same time. Um, yeah, so it's really fun. And then I just post the activity as students can edit. Of course, when you're doing the test, you want to make sure that you're assigning it only to that one student. And the key is to make it students can edit. That way your student can get in there and you can get in there at the same time. So I hope this helps and I hope you're able to find this somewhat easy. Um, you can put all the tests into one document or make them into, you know, separate documents. It doesn't take too long to do it. Um, like everything else these days, it does take extra work and yeah, we're teachers. We are overworked and extremely burdened. Um, but if this is something that you really need to do, uh, here you go.